the first drive. I'm moving over here to the right hand side. The first building that we're going to see, we're going to have the limestone cladding, streamlined verticality, and setbacks to the building rises in height. Our deco, right? 1920s, 1930s, right? Now this building, this is postmodern. 1989, Adrian Smith, Skidmore, Owings, and Merrill. This is NBC Tower. A bit more than halfway up the building, we have that uplighting, we have those upside down L's, those are called flying buttresses, normally a part of the Gothic style. Think of the cathedrals of Europe. They have stone flying buttresses. They help the buttress and stabilize the walls or roof of said cathedral. But here at NBC Tower, they're there for decoration and ornamentation. And to pay tribute to a building that we're going to be seeing here in about 20 or so seconds. As soon as we clear this mid century modernist box here to our right, this currently just goes by its address, which is 401 North Michigan Avenue. Completed back in 1965, also designed by Skidmore, Owings, and Merrill. But as you can see, the building itself set back off of the roadway. The reason for that is this land here at that one time was owned by the Tribune Company. They would only sell it to a buyer who would agree to build their building back here off the roadway. It's not long to build their building. Coming up directly into our right with the American flag on top, completed back in 1925. The beautiful and Neil Gothic Tribune Tower here. Now back in 1922, the paper sponsored an international architectural competition. Grand prize, a hundred grand, and any architect that could design the world's most beautiful office building. There were over 250 entities, and this design won. Submitted by two New York architects.